Hi, I'm Pauline Connolly, and I'm here at Molino Tile Carpet Wood, and I'm talking to Wayne Finnis with Ohio Valley Flooring. And um, Wayne, if I'm trying to choose a wood look, if I want a hard surface and I'm trying to choose a wood look, um, I, all, I wonder a lot whether or not I should go with hardwood, engineered wood, or laminate. And I'm confused about the pros and cons of each of the products. Can you help me decide? Yeah, hopefully I can. Um, I think, first of all, you need to decide, you know, which area that or room in the house you're, you're going to be uh, doing. So um, if we're going to be looking at the basement or uh, above grade applications. Um, if it would be uh, happen to be a basement application, I, I think we definitely want to stick with either laminate mm -hmm. or an engineered piece of wood. But anything um, on grade or above grade, you're free to use any of the three products that we're uh, going to talk about here today, okay. whether it be solid, engineered, wood, or a piece of laminate. Okay, so if I'm deciding, what's the advantages of, let's say, solid wood versus engineered wood? Okay, um, here in our part of the country, I think our mind, because our parents told us and before them, their grandparents, is we're, we're predispositioned to think that a three-quarter inch solid piece of hardwood is the only way to go and we should do it that way all the time. Um, that's not the case anymore. With all these products being pre-finished at the factory, um, an engineered product, if we can get over the uh, illusion in our minds that three-quarter inch is better, um, engineered products bring us a lot of uh, feature benefits, whether, regardless of what part of the home that, that we're looking at. And the major reason is stability. Um, it will not grow and swell, shrink and swell like a piece of uh, three-quarter inch solid. Okay. Um, though we try to think that uh, everyone maintains a relative humidity inside their homes, um, sometimes with our trains of seasons and with the high humidity that we're prone to have, um, we can get some, uh, some troubles, especially if we go with the wider widths, when we get anything over three and a quarter inches wide. I, I really think engineer brings a solid value to us from a st stability and a price point. Okay. And the looks, when they're both down on the uh, floor, no one's going to be able to tell whether it's three-quarter inch solid or the three-eighths inch in their Well, both of them are made entirely out of wood, am I not correct? Correct, without doubt. Yeah. The engineer product, you have a uh, the face, which is normally about an eighth to three-sixteenths of an inch thick of that particular species that you're wanting to purchase. Yeah. And then it's um, like oak filler in the back for stability. But um, we are selling more and more engineered product, and um, but we do still sell the majority of the three quarters of solid. Um, one, one thing that I've heard, and I don't know if this is true, is that it's harder to refinish an engineered floor. Is that correct if you want to refinish it? Or with proper care, do you not need to refinish it? Um, if you would need to refinish it, and we can pretty much just go with a, a Rescreen of the product. Um, this product, I think, um, from Lausanne can be re rescreened um, three times. And, and normally, that's a quite a, that's quite a few times. Yes, it is. And um, unless you're really really abusing your floor through 20, these all have 25 year warranties. Um, you're not with their new Plenium finish, um, which is like an aluminum oxide that keeps the foot yeah. off the face. Um, you're really not going to have to be concerned with that, but if you are, it can be done. Okay, and when you said it's re-screened versus refinished, what do you mean by that? Um, what they'll do, they'll come in with a sanding yeah. of, of the floor, yeah. and they'll just strip off just the, um, the face, okay. and then they'll just come in and refinish it. Okay. So it isn't a process where they're bringing a planer and actually taking, you know, like an eighth of an inch off. Okay. They're just getting off those surface scratches that, that it the homeowner is probably concerned with to bring okay. it back to its brand new appearance. Well, now that you mentioned scratches, I, uh, I've heard, and I don't know if I'm right, but that wood is a little bit more prone to scratch than laminate. Is that correct? Yeah, without doubt. You know, uh, wood's 100% natural product, and um, it'll scratch, it'll dent. Um, and if you're concerned with those type of issues, yeah. if you have pets, if you... Um, active children. Active children just an active household, a uh, laminate is definitely a, uh, a product you ought to consider. Um, 
our products are from Quick Step, um, and really where this uh, technology is going, it's almost lifelike what they're able to do with their patterns and with their looks um, compared to the, the natural product of wood. Uh, this is the product of, um, of elegance. And as you can see, it's micro beveled on all four sides. Um, it has extremely life looking characteristics with knot holes. Um, the, emboss the embossing level is quite good. It has an extremely, uh, without doubt, the, um, the best core in the industry. Um, and its papers are just beautiful. And uh, this would resist scratching, denning. I guess it's just a decision here whether you want the real wood or you want a product that's going to probably be easier to maintain. Okay, that's what I was going to ask too. If you, if I were to choose, especially with a family that has a lot of pets and kids, one of the one of the big issues is maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, what's easier to take care of? And um, would you say that the laminate floor is a little bit easier to take care of than wood? Yeah, that? yeah, I, I'd say without doubt. And um, in the sense that it, it's not going to show the marking or the traffic that a natural wood product would show. Okay. Just over time, you know, it'll it'll keep its existing look forever, in the sense of uh, normal household wear and tear. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, right.